My name is James, and I'm a Seward. And I want to tell you the story of how Jesus has changed my life. I mentioned that I'm a Seward. That might not mean a lot to everybody who's watching this video, but uh, Sewards are by nature resilient people, plucky, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. We look at a task and we say, I can do that. In Matthew 19, we hear a story of how Jesus was approached by a young man who had it all together. He was rich, he was a ruler, and he's wanting to know, how do I become part of your kingdom? How do I inherit eternal life? In many ways, you could say it was a steward coming to Jesus. Afterwards, in interacting with his disciples, Jesus says something really interesting about that interaction. He says it's actually harder for a man like that, a rich man, to enter the kingdom of God than for a camel to enter through the eye of a needle. In other words, it's really, really hard for people who have that self-reliant nature, that self-righteous nature, to get into God's kingdom. Now, the disciples are perplexed at this because they think, if you want somebody in your kingdom, you'd want somebody like that. He's perfect. He has so much to offer. So they say, if he can't be saved, who can be saved? In response, Jesus says something that's really important. He says, With man, it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So this is a story of how God was able to save a steward. I'm grateful because when I was a little boy, I came to understand that I did bad things. I disobeyed God. And as a result, I didn't belong in God's kingdom. My sin separated me from God. And I also learned that Jesus had died on the cross for my sins, that he had taken my sins upon himself so that I could be forgiven. And so I embraced that message and I embraced Jesus. But Jesus didn't just die to forgive my sins. When he died, by dealing with my sins, he restored me to my relationship with my Heavenly Father. And because of that, he actually gave me a new nature. Who I was at my core was changed, and he gave me his Holy Spirit to live inside me. Now, as I've grown and matured, I've understood more and more about my nature. I'm not saying these things are true of all stewards, but I was somebody who, I am somebody in my natural nature, someone who's who's proud, self-righteous, arrogant, self-reliant. I think, I, I can shoulder this load, put it on me. I can deal with this problem, I'll step up and I'll solve it. And so there can be an air of superiority in that. Maybe some of you who've known me have sensed that, and I'm sorry that that's what you've been exposed to. But because I was restored to my relationship with my father because of Jesus, because he gave me that new nature that longed for different things, God was able to, is able to, show me some of that. He's shown me my own heart. And slowly over time, he's been changing me. He's been making me realize I'm not nearly as strong as I think I am. My shoulders are not nearly as broad as I think they are. My brain is not nearly as wise as I think it is. I need Jesus way more than I thought I did. And so he's making me more humble. He's making me more meek. He's making me more compassionate and tender-hearted. You think about the sins that people think of as awful. I avoided a lot of them. But when you look at it from a biblical perspective, I think the sins that I struggle with are some of the worst because they're sins that make me think I can do it apart from God. I don't need him. I've got it all together on my own instead of clinging to our creator and our savior. If God can change me, he can change anyone. With man, it's impossible. With God, all things are possible. My name's James Seward, and this is how Jesus is changing my life. Confident if he can change my life, he can change yours. 
I invite you to open to the book of Mark in the Bible and read and learn about Jesus. If you want to, you can reach out to me, and I'd love to talk to you more about how Jesus can change your life. Thanks for taking time to listen. It means a lot.